Uh, but we're going to start off with my buddy Joe. Joe, you ready to roll? Andy, ready to do it. Fantastic. All right, everyone. Hey, shut your cell phones off. Shut Outlook, shut Compass, Calyx, whatever you got going on, just shut it all down. Give us a little bit of time. We promise we'll give you some great information. You'll walk out with some awesome stuff for your tech stack. Excellent, Andrew. Well, really appreciate the, the awesome introduction. Really excited to hopefully see some familiar people um, today in this webinar and then also so hopefully some new faces. We've had a great partnership with Originator Tech over the last few years. I'm excited to showcase what we have to offer in the lending community uh, and a couple of new product features that we've rolled out since last time we've connected. Um, if you are new to Capacity, we are at a very high level an AI powered support automation platform. We work with lenders kind of across the spectrum from large to small to really help automate and deflect backend um, support functions and make it easier for loan officers to access information as well as making sure that your backend support functions are as efficient as possible and not answering repetitive questions day in and day out. So on that note, I'm gonna share my screen and highlight the different ways that um, people can leverage and communicate and get that information from capacity. I like to think of ourselves as a, a large system of engagement. So with capacity, we can connect to your different knowledge bases. We have a knowledge base on the back end. Um, we also have integrations into um, over 50 different key systems in the lending space to make it easier for employees to access that information without having to search through files, hunt through emails, or um, you know, ask different people on their, on their team for that information. One simple way that a user can communicate and get that info from capacity is through Teams. I know a lot of our lending clients leverage Microsoft Teams. And so similar to talking to a team member as if you're having a conversation, you can have a conversation with capacity and get that information instantly. So if I'm a loan officer coming in here and have a simple question, maybe it's uh, maybe I'm a new loan officer and wanna ask, um, you know, oh, let's make sure I click this. Do appraisals have an expiration date? And when I come in here and ask capacity, just like um, a, a coworker, an employee, capacity will come back with an immediate answer. And you'll notice too, it also has this helpful, not helpful. By having this, this is another way that we train our AI on the back end because we recognize that not everyone's going to ask the same question in a similar format. So by, you know, if somebody asks, do appraisals have an expiration date? Someone else might ask, you know, what type of expiration dates do appraisals have? All of that are different variants of inquiries. This helpful, not helpful are ways that we continuously train the AI so it gets smarter and smarter as we work with your teams. Another big thing that we've seen from a lot of our clients is training their employees on different procedures and new things happening. So for example, um, last year when Erla kind of the, new implications rolled out, we had um, a lot of our clients just turn to capacity, upload all that information while they were going into um, Encompass itself and updating everything. They actually had all their employees just say, all right, ask capacity. You know, we don't have the time to answer these repetitive questions day in, day out. And so through this, I can say, okay, when does the early training start? You'll see capacity comes back and says, well, it depends on you know, what type of employer you are. Are you a branch manager, loan officer, processor, um, LOA? I'll say no. If I say no, maybe that means that there's a different time for that training. So capacity will come back and say, okay, you know, last year, Tuesday, March 2nd was when that training was. Again, just one example of how we can leverage capacity to automate those different training functions and ensure that people have that information. Last thing I want to show as well are our integrations into different LOS systems like Encompass. I would say a vast majority of our clients are leveraging Encompass. However, we have integrated into other LOS systems as well. I know with Encompass, we have over 85 different fields that we can connect to and push and pull information from. So if I'm a loan officer, I'll come in here and say, you know, what's the cash to close on the Simons loan? By talking to capacity through Microsoft Teams, we have what we call cascading permissions. So because Microsoft Teams recognize that I'm logged in as Joe Sullivan, it will also, through that Encompass integration, 
capacity recognizes that it's Joe Sullivan asking these questions. So I only have access to the information in which I have permission in Encompass for. So I couldn't come in here and ask, you know, for any about uh, for any information about Andrew's loans or anyone else's. If if I did, it would come back with an error and say, you know, you don't have that information. Please rephrase your question. However, you know, if I want to come in here and say, you know, what loans do I have closing this month? It'll recognize, okay, in Encompass, Joe's asking this question. Let's see what loans he has closing this month. Excellent. Here are the three loans that it looks like you have coming up. Make sure to focus your attention on this. Now, the last one I want to highlight here is LTV on the Johnson loan. Again, just showcasing the different information we can pull from capacity, whether it's a specific information um, or I could just say, you know, show me the Johnson file. And I know I'm leveraging this on my computer today. This is the exact same experience you would have on your mobile device. So if a loan officer is out in the field, has a question, again, instead of having to turn to underwriting, um, log into Encompass, by being logged into Microsoft Teams, we can pull this information directly in Teams. Now, the next thing that I want to highlight, and this is one of our newer features, is what we are calling our email interceptor. And so one of the hardest things to institute in any organization is behavior change. And I think that's just the nature of most humans. And we've recognized that maybe not every team leverages Microsoft Teams. Maybe that's your only your, your production team. Maybe not everyone has access to Microsoft Teams, or maybe most people are still just old school and used to using um, emails themselves. And so what we've built out is just like any other help desk, you can email different departments via um, a normal email that we have built into the back end of capacity. So if I have a run underwriting question, I can come in here and say, you know, question to the underwriting team, say, hey team, um, quick question. When do I need to verify? social security number. Thanks. When I hit send, what happens is this goes now into the back end, emails somebody on the underwriting team to answer this question. It also creates a ticket in Capacity's help desk. So if I come in here, you'll see this is the back end of Capacity. We'll dive deeper into this in a second, but want to showcase what happens. So when I refresh this, I'm gonna go, so you can see all your tickets, the filter, I can filter down and say, okay, I just wanna focus under on underwriting tickets. Here's a question that comes in. Hey team, you know, quick question, when do I need to verify a social security number? It automatically creates that ticket. What our email interceptor also does is it taps our knowledge base and tries to answer that question before an underwriter has to come in and answer it. So you'll see, okay, I got an instant reply from capacity. Hey, just to let you know, we received this question. Do any of these answers answer your question um, related to this email or this ticket that you raised? Do I need to verify social security number, borrow social security number verified? Okay, perfect. This is exactly what I needed. When I say, yes, this answers my question, I'm going to take into a screen that says, excellent, we've closed that out in capacity. And then what you'll see as well, now in the help desk, You'll see that's automatically marked as done. You'll see that when I update this, that Joe Sullivan or whoever the loan officer is came in and actually selected that information. And now you have that audit paper trail to show, okay, you know, this is what was asked, but capacity was able to answer this via this question here. Excellent. I can move on. Don't need to actually do anything to this, but here is um, evidence of that ticket being raised and closed. Outside of email interceptor, we also recognize, okay, you know, people might not have Microsoft Teams, organizations might still have internet sites. That might be where most of their information is housed. So if I click into this, here is Capacity's backend articles platform. We actually have worked with several clients to build out their own internet site using, this is what we call our, our sites or articles feature. Looks like a support site. You can put in your overlays, job aids, different um, cross-departmental support. 
And if you look down at the bottom of your screen, the chat bot is in here as well. And so we have different integrations into like AltiPro for hourly workers if they want to clock in, clock out. We have Sales Boomerang um, integration, which is a great partner of ours. So if I want to check on my leads, you know, what new Sales Boomerang leads do I have? Maybe I have a scenarios question. This will kick me off and take me right to our um, GSE guideline search, which will actually search all of the federal guidelines directly to the source, or maybe I can create a ticket. So if I come in here, I can, maybe I want to say, all right, let's check my Salesforce boomerang leads. Excellent. And then the next thing I'm going to say is let's do, uh, I, maybe I have a scenario question. What you'll see too, is as I start to type this out, capacity is going to start to, um, Guess, okay, here are the top five questions we typically get around scenarios. I'll say scenarios request. Okay, we can help you with scenarios quest. What's your loan number? Perfect. And so what this is doing, this is going to be what type of loan? What kind of, what kind of loan? This is our guided conversation. And so with the guided conversation, what we're doing is we're actually um, collecting more information about the loan. So as it comes in, you know, what's your question regarding? I'll say income. What guides have you re reviewed before? I'll say FHA. What question are you looking to answer? Our self-employment income. Thanks. Go ahead and process the request. What we're doing is we're gathering all the information for your scenarios desk so that they have all the information on the back end to access that data. Nope. Awesome. So that's that request has been submitted on my behalf to that guided conversation. I can also come in here and say, you know, maybe it's a, our business debts counted in DTI. We have an integration built out with all regs. And so for these types of questions, what we can also do outside of just linking directly to Scenarios Desk, if you have an Allregs instance, we can actually link to that Allregs itself and pull up the, the different links to um, Allregs. So if I click on this, it'll actually take me out to Allregs. If you have that login, it'll automatically take you to that site. And then I'll come in here as well and say, you know, search. You want to search the guidelines. By saying to search guidelines, what this is doing is kicking off our GSE guideline search. And this is outside of if you have um, an Allregs instance, this is a way that you can leverage our proprietary APIs to come in and ask certain questions um, specifically to the federal guideline websites. Excellent. Okay. What fan made question do you have? I'll come in here and say, um, our self-employment income and show you that exact same question I just raised in the scenarios desk. You know, what happens if I do this GSE guideline search? It'll come back and bring the top three different articles that we found in Fanny itself. So when I click on this, it takes you right to the selling guide that shows that and, and describes different documentation around um, self-employed borrowers. Capacity will also come in and say, all right, did this answer your question? If I say yes, it'll say excellent. You know, do you want to go back to the main menu or do you have another question? If I say no, it'll take you back through that workflow to gather more information and raise that ticket in the scenarios desk. And why we have this is because we, I think we've, everyone's probably experienced a, a bad process with a chat bot. And that's not what we want to facilitate at all. What we do want to facilitate is making sure that either you get an answer to your question. And if you don't, we want to make sure that that um, question gets raised to the appropriate subject matter expert on your team. Did this request? I'll say yes. I'll just ask another general question. We've also worked with different um, clients to optimize backend processes and ensure that there is an audit trail and make sure that whatever processes typically start with an email inbox are now created in that um, ticketing system on the back end. So the email inbox isn't flooded with multiple different um, emails from the same user or just overloaded. You know, maybe an underwriter is getting overloaded with different requests. So if I come in here and say disposition desk, what this is going to do is kick off the disposition desk process. If it's a request that a loan officer might have, it's going to say, excellent. 
you know, you're going to be entering the disposition desk. We're going to ask you a few quick questions about the um, loan that you want to discuss. What loan do you have on file? I'll put in my loan number. Perfect. What's the current status of the loan? And all of this is customized and we can work with any client to really focus on the different processes that they want to optimize themselves. I'll say, okay, I want an internal cancel. Is this a government file? If I say no, you know, what are the reasons that you're, that you want to decline or withdraw this? Is there any additional information that you want to provide? If yes, put it in the box below. If no, select not available. What this then says is excellent. You know, we've raised this in the disposition desk. Now there's a timestamp to it. Now they have all the information about that file and there's a link to my email address. Um, based on filling out that information. So if someone from dispositions has a question, they can now reach out to me in regards to that file. But now there's that timestamp so they know when they have to have that actually disclosed um, for auditing purposes. I know we're coming up on time here and I'm going to leave a few questions or a few minutes for questions. Um, and I know I've covered a lot. So Andrew, feel free to ask away with anything that you have um, before jumping over to our next uh, host. Awesome. Very, very cool. All right. So uh, first and foremost, got one question here that I'm curious about this too. So um, so you talked about actually integrating with Teams. Uh, what about uh, Google Chat and like what, any other messaging apps like uh, Slack? Yep. Great question. So if it's a messaging app, we can integrate with it. Um, we've typically today, most of our clients leverage Microsoft Teams. Internally, we leverage Slack today. So that is um, one of the first messaging platforms that we've integrated with. Um, so yes, we can integrate with um, most, if not all, um, messaging platforms. We've also done Facebook Messenger. Um, we've integrated with Twilio and different text messaging platforms as well. Um, but great question. All right, fantastic. Uh, next question. Um, so time to launch. You know, for so someone says they like this, they want this, they sign the contract. Um, how long does it take to get up and running? Yeah, great question. And we get this a lot. And so we always take a phased approach um, to our launches. Typically, we say in the first 30 days, we can get your knowledge base um, up and ready. We always want to start with FAQs and work with your teams to understand, okay, you know, what are the typical requests that your different departments and teams get in? And because we've been working in the mortgage industry for so long, capacity has probably answered over a million different questions. And we have built out pre pre-built content packs that come pre-loaded into every capacity instance. And then we work with your teams to ensure that the answers reflect the actual answers within the organization. But that makes sure that, again, the time to value is there. So typically 30 days, and then we work with your teams progressively to build out the integrations, whether they're custom or out of the box. Um, and I would say within you know three months, uh, 90, I would say about 90 days, we're fully integrated and fully um, deployed with our with our customers. Okay, fantastic. And um, what do you do uh, to ensure success, including connecting to all other systems, um, just to, I guess to kind of get up and running? Yep. So um, with ensuring success, first off, we have a dedicated customer success manager for all of our clients, which kind of work hand in hand, not only training, also helping facilitate the integrations. We have a customer success engineering team that also um, works with your teams if you don't have developer resources to build out those integrations. And again, we have over 50 out of the box integrations um, and most of those in the lending space itself. Uh, and then as long as there's an API, we can integrate to it. And if not, we also have workarounds, um, like ways to connect to data warehouses to pull information as well. Um, so we ensure that we're working um, with your team hand in hand to provide as much value as possible. Fantastic. All right. Next question. Uh, what about uh, what what kind of security measures are in place to protect data? Yeah, great question. So because we work with financial institutions, we have top notch security. We are SOC 2 type 2 compliant. Um, we're GDPR compliant, HIPAA. So we kind of across the board, make sure that security is at the forefront of everything we do here in capacity, especially when we're working with loan specific data and just personal um, data with all of our organizations. So that is one of the you know, em heavy emphasis on security um, here at capacity and can definitely make sure that we'll, we'll pass all procurement uh, processes. 
Okay, fantastic. Uh, next question. Um, we are, uh, we're an Encompass house um, and uh, they have a POS. Do you actually integrate, uh, can you talk about integrations with the, with the industry? Yep, so it depends on um, the integrations and what you wanna facilitate. We have integrated with Encompass. We've integrated with um, Velocify for lead routing, Blend from a POS perspective. Um, so it really just depends on what you, what information you want to push and pull from those different uh, platforms. But we are also a preferred partner with ICE. So we can, again, have access to over 85 different fields within Encompass that we can push and pull, whether it's starting an application and pushing it in there, again, pulling loan files for loan officers, um, or actually um, pulling the entire file itself. Uh, for, for underwriters if they need extra insight into what's happening with the loan. Fantastic. Awesome. And uh, I think that concludes uh, all of the questions that we have. Uh, you know, there, there are some rather specific questions. We'll, we'll pass those on to you guys because yeah, we're, certainly. we're hitting time right now. So Joe, thank you so much. And I'm just going to actually, so if anyone wants to learn a little bit more about capacity, um, I'm going to drop in the chat. Hold on. You should. Everyone should see in the chat. Uh, there's a, a link, so you can you can use that to learn a little bit more about capacity. And and I'm also sharing my email if you have any extra questions or specific questions that you want to ask me directly. But Andrew, I appreciate um, you having us on as always, and uh, look forward to the rest of the presenters. Fantastic. All right, Joe. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.